Uh, it's just digital intelligence, and um, as the algorithms and the hardware improve, that digital intelligence will exceed biological intelligence by a substantial margin. It's obvious. When you say that we'll exceed human intelligence, at some point soon, the machine's going to be smart, not just smarter, like exponentially smarter than any of us. Ensuring that the advent of AI is good, or at least we try to make it good, seems like a smart move. But we're way behind on that. Yes, we're not paying attention. We worry more about what, what name somebody called someone else than whether AI will destroy humanity. Hi guys, um, today we are looking at what artificial intelligence and machine learning currently exists. Then we will look at what we're likely to see in the future. Is Elon Musk right that we should be worried? Stay to the end and find out. And also stay to the end to see a list of companies you might want to invest in. So let's have a quick look at what AI and machine learning currently exists today before we even have a look at what we can expect in the future. The first thing we can look at is healthcare, which is helping and supporting our society. A good example of this is x-rays, which identifies uh, broken bones and can also identify diseases which can be treated early. Then we can look at robotics, which has proved useful and beneficial in carrying out surgical operations. And lastly, we have AI and machine learning, which has provided us with the ability to carry out experiments in genetic engineering, as well as carry out research and medical breakthroughs in things like COVID-19 vaccine, which has saved millions of lives. Another example where we have seen AI and machine learning work is in robotics. We have seen this, for example, in factories such as the Tesla Gigafactory. Robots can do repetitive and mundane jobs consistently over long periods of time. This makes them efficient, cost-effective and invaluable as a resource. Robots can do work like humans doing fetching and carrying of heavy objects. Robots like Spot from Boston Dynamics can also be deployed to areas where humans find it difficult or dangerous to get to, like minefields or human tragedies. Recently, uh, Elon Musk held an artificial intelligence day where he introduced a robot which I suspect will probably be used to go up in his rockets up to Mars. But watch this video clip of something a little bit closer to home. Human innovation champion. Her new role is in the healthcare sector, taking temperatures with a thermal camera on her chest or leading morning exercise with the elderly. Social robots like me can help take care of the sick or elderly in many kinds of healthcare and medical uses. I can help communicate, give therapy, and provide social stimulation, even in difficult situations. Researchers predict the fallout from global lockdowns will open new opportunities for the robotics industry. Good. Apart from robots, we're already talking to machines like Alexa, Cortana, and Siri Google Assistant. They can answer our questions. They can order a pizza for us or wake us up in the morning. We also have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, which means we can switch off and switch on lights even if we are not in the house, or we can turn on the heating before we arrive home using our mobile phone apps. So uh, what is the future? Well, we have already discovered that machines and robots will be replacing us in the heavy and manual jobs in factories and other places. But there will also be work for programmers, technical staff and supervisors in case machines need adjusting or they quite simply break down. We know that robots will be used in social care and other environments like hospitality, hotels and bars. Answering machines are already uh, dealing with our inquiries. 
the future will also include self-driving cars. Um, this is becoming closer and closer day by day. We already have it in airplanes with pilots taking care of just simply uh, takeoffs and landings. So what are our immediate concerns? Well, it's all to do with our data. For example, we know that Amazon can identify what our needs are when it comes to shopping. So this may be seen as a positive as it helps us buy the things we need. On the negative side, social media sites are tapping into our prejudices and cultivating a society of mistrust and distrust by allowing half-truths, untruths and fake news to be given airtime. Basically, these billionaires are playing with our minds and making huge sums of money when these videos go viral. Regulation is needed as families get divided on issues such as COVID. Let me know in your comments what you think. As Elon Musk said, we also need regulation on robots as they become more clever and intelligent, especially in warfare, as they can destroy our planet. Finally, here are some companies that you might want to consider investing in. They are NVIDIA, Palantir, Alphabet, Tesla and Amazon. Of course, there are many more. If you have enjoyed this video, please press the subscriber button. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. My videos come out every Tuesday and Saturday. Thank you.